and welcome to this Homeland Security Special Edition. I'm Kate Lehman. Finally, the US is beginning to realize it. The ISIS threat has made its way to their own cities. In Washington, the administration instructed the US Army and Marines to launch strikes at selected ISIS objectives, including its chiefs in Syria and Iraq. This has likely prompted a series of tweets consisting of threats on Washington and Chicago residents that we already hear inside the US, inside your cities and streets. The FBI is taking no chances and has ordered local police forces to be vigilant. The planned attacks on ISIS, for the first time also now in Syrian territory, was underscored by the recent release of the ISIS video clip showing the brutal execution of photojournalist James Foley, coupled with the concerns that additional American and British citizens have been captured by ISIS. The military options currently under discussion in both the US and Europe are arming rebel groups fighting ISIS and assisting them, limited cooperation with Assad's army and removing ISIS chiefs using means, tools and methods akin to the ones applied by the US in Iraq and Pakistan. So who and what is ISIS or ISIL? This is an acronym for Islamic State of Iraq and Syria Levant, a radical Sunni extremist terrorist splinter group of Al-Qaeda operating in both Syria and Iraq. Since 2003, ISIS's current leader and military chief is Mohammed Abu Bakr, who assumed command after his predecessor, Abu Ayyub al-Masri, was killed in an American bombing. Under Abu Bakr's leadership, ISIS has invested enormous efforts in conquering vast areas in Syria and Iraq, where the organization wants to establish a form of radical extremist Sunni Islamic rule. In Iraq, ISIS currently holds much of Mosul, parts of Tikrit and Sinjar, and it is fighting for control of the important Mosul water dam, while suffering heavy casualties from US fighter jets. ISIS consists of militants from multiple nations, many of whom have UK and other European passports, a source of concern upon their return to their respective countries, in particular the UK. In addition, ISIS compromises many Chechen and Turkish fighters. Apart from President Obama, the only leader in the West who has called for real action against ISIS has been Laurent Fabius. The French Minister of Foreign Affairs advocated the disruption of the organization's funding, which is estimated at billions of US dollars. These funds come from multiple donors from the Middle East, primarily from Qatar. Among the forces fighting ISIS is the Yazidi minority, which is considered part of the Kurdish nation. The Yazidi fighters received funding and supplies from several Arab countries, but ISIS beat them back and conducted a comprehensive genocide. Since fighting began, ISIS militants have reportedly murdered thousands of Yazidis, including women and children, some of whom have been buried alive. It has been reported that 300 Yazidi women were abducted to serve as slaves servicing ISIS fighters. The fighting drove about 40,000 Yazidis to flee their homes and become refugees. Thanks for watching this Homeland Security Special Edition on ISIS. See you next time. And in the meantime, please visit our website to learn more about Homeland Security by clicking on the link below. Thanks for watching.